Hi children, welcome to Educa. This is Unit 14 in Grade 8 Science, Phenomena and Exploration Associated with the Solar System. I have divided this lesson into several parts. This is the first one. So, our first top topic is the Solar System. A large number of celestial objects can be observed in the night sky. From ancient time, people were curious about those celestial objects. They gathered information by observing of these objects. Ancient people observed celestial objects with their naked eye. Later on, various instruments were used for this purpose. Telescopes, manned and unmanned, space crafts and space station were some of them due to the information collected since ancient time now we have ability of understanding the solar system which is a larger system including the earth still the exploration now being carried out about this Planets rotate around their own axis. While revolving around the sun, rotational time of planet is the time taken by the planet turned once around its own axis. It is the time span of a day of the particular planet. Let's see an example. The rotational time of the earth is 24 hours. So that is a day of the earth. Here you can see rotation and revolution of the earth. Time of revolution of a planet is the time taken by the planet to revolve once around the sun, that is the year of that particular planet. For example, the time of revolution of the earth is 265.25 days, that is the year of the earth. Consider a dancing event by a dancer to understand the concept of rotation and revolution. A dancer rotates around its own axis. It is called rotation. At the same time, the dancer revolves around the imaginary point on the stage. This is called revolution. A planet rotates around its rotating axis. The path of a lawn which a planet revolves around the sun is its orbit. All planets have tilt to its orbit plane when revolved. For example, the Earth has a tilt of 23.5 degrees, the perpendicular axis of its orbital plane. There are subplanets around the most of the planet. They also rotate around their own axis while revolving around the planet. Mercury and Venus have no such planets. Here, let's see some information about the planets of our solar system. Now you can see the planet distance from the sun in million kilometer, diameter of the planet in kilometers, rotational time in earth days, revolution time in earth years, tilt to the orbital plane in degrees, number of subplanets till 2060. Observe the table, you can get such idea. Let's build up a model of solar system and study about it. Here you will need steriform walls of suitable sizes to represent planets. Suitable paints in given colors to apply on steriform wall. Wooden strip to the length of 75 cm. Black thread, glue, small steriform sheet. Let's see what we have to do. Select the steriform wall to sizes given below and paint them with colors indicated. Here you can see the diameter of the wall and the color for the each object. Cut a string of southern from the steriform sheet. When the paint is dry, fill the balls to wooden strip using glue. Paint the wooden strip black. Make the model as 
given figure. Write the names of the planets. Let's see here. This is what you have to make. Now you can compare the model which you have made with this given model. Real ratio of the sizes of planets is not indicated in the model you made in the activity 14.1. The real ratio of the sizes of them is given in this figure. You can observe that. Let's understand about the distances of planets from the sun. You will need name boards of planet measuring tape, large yellow color bell. You have to mark a point on a center of the school playground. Take that point as a center. Draw circles, take in the radius according to the ratio given in the table. Get the assistance of your teacher. Place the inflated balloon at the center of the background. Apply shake lime on the circles, mark the ground. Place the name boards of each planet on the circle. Position a student at the name board. Give each student at the name board leaflet with information of that planet. Direct a student in your class at time to each name board. Different the student at the name board to describe about the planet that he or she responsible of. Now you have a comparative knowledge about the planet. Here this shows model of solar system in the school laboratory. Let's study about the revolution of planets around the sun. You will need a balloon, strong string, 50 cm in length. Tie the ball at the one end of the strong string, 50 cm long. Take the other free end of the string to hand and rotate the ball fast to above the head. Now observe, the manner ball rotates around without falling until you rotate it. In this activity, you might have observed that ball rotates in a circular path without attracting towards you. In this rotation can be explained as below. Here, force is extended from your arm to the ball. Therefore, ball is rotated in circular path at constant speed. Corresponding to the example given here, revolution of planets around the sun also can be explained. Comparative to the force applied by the arm towards a ball, a force is applied by the sun towards a planet that called gravitational force. A force is applied by sun towards a planet that is called gravitational force. The planet should fall on the sun and be destroyed due to this force. But this does not happen because of constant speed of revolution of the planet around the sun. Seasonal changes is a phenomenon that occur due to the revolution of the earth around the sun with a tilt or its orbital plane. When it is the winter in England, which is the northern hemisphere of the earth, it is the summer in the New Zealand, which is in the southern hemisphere. Let us find out how this happened. It is known that the Earth axis has tilted 23.5 degrees to its orbital plane. Revolution of the Earth with this tilt is the reason for regional changes on the Earth. Now, let's study about how this happened. Now, you can see the occurrence of seasonal changes on the Earth. Consider the position of Earth on 21st of June. Here, rays of the Sun fall perpendicular to the northern hemisphere. It is summer to the northern hemisphere, same time rays of the sun fall on with an inclination to southern hemisphere. Therefore, it is cold and it's winter to the southern hemisphere. Consider the position of Earth 22nd of December. Rays of the sun falls perpendicular to the southern hemisphere and with an inclination of northern hemisphere. Therefore, winter occurs in northern hemisphere and summer to the southern hemisphere. Seasonal changes are distinct in polar regions. Countries like Sri Lanka which are close to the equator no distinct regional changes. Third subtopic is occurrence of phases of moon. 
phases of moon occur because of the revolution of moon around the earth half of the moon is always illuminated by the light of the sun but that half is completely seen from the earth only on a full moon day the part of illuminated half of the moon seen from the earth changes daily due to its position thus you can see various shaped of phases of moon let's study how phases of moon occur we need an electric bulb a stray form ball fixed to a rod let's see what we have to do use electric bulb instead of the sun and stray form ball fixed to a rod instead of moon this activity is to be done in dark room hold in a stray form ball turn around the yourself and observe the illuminated part of the ball in a calendar there is only one full moon day for duration of one month but sometimes very occasionally there are two full moon power days for some month now you can see such calendar and phases of moon during such a month here you can see how the phases of moon occur by studying this figure you can get such idea thank you our next part is important incidents associated with solar system